can't please get you on my news Can't please get you on my news page. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hi, reporter Jack here. Is it true you have kids? No. No more questions. So it's true? She said no more questions. What did I even do to you? Um, you've ruined my chances with the whole school liking me. Do you want to ruin my life or something? <laughs> no, I'd never want to ruin your life. Are you saying you care more about other people liking you than your best friend? Maybe I do. Now, I have more important things to do than being around a loser like you. Should I sit at your lunch table today? I thought you'd be talking to Lori. She's so weird. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is your chance. Never mind. What happened? Well, Hannah said I ruin everything and I'm not important. So what if Hannah says those things? Or you cannot let her get to you. What do you choose? Not let her get to me. That's the right choice. Well, I'm going to English. What do you have? Maths, sadly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maths just needs to get over its ex. Yeah, it <laughs> seems like that sometimes. I wish it didn't have to be this way. What was that? Oh, nothing. What are you doing talking to Cadence? What do you mean? And anyways, I'm not talking to you. You know, she acts like she's the queen of the world. And she's always being mean. Well, stop trying to control me. <laughs> Forget it. Go fall into a trap. See if I care. I thought you weren't friends with Lori. I'm not. I was just telling she was a- That she was a what? Ugly wannabe that will never get any friends. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I wonder where Daniel is. Leave me alone. I've got better people to be hanging around than you. Come on, Nikita. Let's just go. Yeah, we'll see you later. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Oh, we were just talking about the classes we're having today. Oh, sweetie. I don't think I've got any with you guys, sadly. Yeah. Hey Jazz, do you have any? Oh, I'm so sorry. I was just daydreaming. Yeah, daydreaming. Oh, it's fine. We should be going. The bell's about to ring. Bye, Harper. See you later. See ya. Jasmine, you were late. Now go take a seat over there. I am so sorry, miss. This will never happen again. So, my name's Mia. What's your name? My name is Jasmine, and I'm already on the bad side of the teachers, so I don't want to get told off again. Oh, I understand. My name's Sophie. Nice name. I'm sorry, did I upset you? I am really sorry. Who wants to show us their work? 
about Nikita? Come on up here. Oh, oh Hi, if you don't know me, I'm the most popular girl in the school, Nikita Brown, but you can call me Nikki. And I am a very it's not a popularity contest. Can you just explain what you did for the book review? Of course, Mother. I did the book Hunger Games, and I uh, found out so many great things. Like what? Miss Brown, may I go to the bathroom? You ran out of hall passes, but you're a trustworthy student, so just say that Miss Brown ran out. Of course. Can I come with her? Of course. Well, you are a new student, so it'll be good for you to see where everything is. Oh my dog. Let's go. With me. Like I was saying, the great things I learned is that the book is made by... I don't know yet, but it seemed like it. At 8.32pm, the 16th of March, 2003, beloved Michael Fall and model Nicole Fall were in a car crash on Springs Road caused by Craig Camps. However, he got accused of planning the crash because he has been seen doing other strange things around the time. How's it going in here? Good! We haven't made a headline in the New Yorkie Times in over a year. You better be finding something good or else someone's getting fired. I promise this will be the story of the year. Better be. <sighs> what would what this man wanted out of this car? <laughs> Craig, what happened on the 16th of March, 2003? It's been 15 years. Why would you still want to talk about that? I came here to interview you, not you interview me. Now, what happened on the, on the 16th of March, 2003? The car crash? I don't know. Yes, the car crash. What is there to talk about? You're the one that caused this. Now, tell me the thoughts about what happened. I thought this was an interview about my business. I'm sorry, but this is irrelevant. So, but... No use. I see you had an interview. How did it go? Great, I found out so much. Good, you might just be getting a promotion. Thanks, but I really need to continue my research. All I found out is that he's stubborn. How is this going to help? sister. She's in her last year of school, so you probably won't know her. Nice to meet you. You too. I've heard a lot about you. Hey, stop it. Hey, Rivlon. We need to talk. Oh. What about? Well, I can take it. You can tell me. I'm moving. This is what I was afraid of. We should totally hang out sometime. Are you okay? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I can help you. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. What is Sophie, what is Sophie doing, doing with my friends? friends? We'll have to go find out. Hey guys, we have some news. So do I. Tell me everything. I got into Porvid. Oh my dog. Congratulations, you deserve it. What's your news, Sophie? Me and Sophie are dating. Yeah. What? What was that about? I'm gonna go check on her. What was that about? Why did you run away like that? The whole Daniel and Sophie thing. What's wrong with that? I like Daniel. You do? Yeah, don't say anything. And this will just get Sophie mad at me. Okay. Oh, I should get that. Hello? Jasmine, I need to tell you something that I've been needing to tell you for a very long time. You're... Say it. Mom? Hello?
I'm home. Hello? I'll be home, I'll be home soon. soon. Snacks, Snacks in the fridge. In the fridge. Love, mom. Love mom. Great. Mom, you're saying I'm adopted and only now? I'm sorry we didn't tell you sooner. Ugh. Oh, Lori. Thank you for coming. Have a nice day. Hi, could I get a sandwich? Sure. We're running out of stuff, so it might take longer. Could I apply? Sure. Do you have any experience? No, sorry, but I'd like a part-time job because I've always wanted to be a waitress. What's your name, age, and what days would you like to work? Loretta Brighton. I'm 15 and I'm a high school student, so I can work Afternoon shifts like 4 until 7pm and I'm free the whole week, including weekends. Wow, the job is yours. I'll introduce you to my son who works here. Lucas, come over here. We have a new employee. Hi. Hey, Lori. Hey, Lori. You guys know each other? Yes, he's in my math class. Well, it's good you guys know each other because you'll be assisting each other on a daily basis. It sounds great. When can I start working? Tomorrow around 4 till 6 p.m. Thank you so much. You will not regret this. I better not. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Lucas, can you show Lori how our job works? Because I need to get some orders ready. Like your sandwich. Sure. You're back. Now, we are talking about why you called me. Well, I can't lie to you. A man forced me to tell you you were adopted. I never wanted to tell you because I know nothing about your real parents. And I thought all you would want to know is things about them, not me. And you'd always think of me as not your mum. But I care for you like your real mum. What? I would never think of you as that. You raised me taught me so many things, you fed me, you cleaned up after me, sometimes. That sounds like a mum to me. Well, Hawk is upset because things were working out with her and Daniel. Wait, does that mean? It means what? Daniel might like me? You are being kind of selfish. You saw how it made Sophie feel. Right. I'm sorry. It's fine. We should just go to maths. Yeah, I don't really think I'm going to achieve today. I'm sure you're going to achieve it, but I'm probably going to fail it. Says Miss Perfect. <laughs> 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 and then I was like, why would you say that? <laughs> why would she? Weird. No one's out yet. Hmm, yeah, maybe we're just early because the whole class is dismissed. Why do you look so down? <laughs> Excuse me? Is it because your real parents gave you up? <laughs> well, I don't blame them. Just look at you. How do you know that? My dad, Craig Camps, told me. Ring a bell. Her dad's only the richest pet in town. <laughs> <laughs> like she said, your parents probably hated you. She's not worth it. You're so mean. And you're crazy. I'm gonna go get a teacher. What was that for? They were teasing me about my parents. Where's the poor thing? Over here, let's go. Oh my dog, are you alright? Yes, Miss Wilson. Just a little lightheaded. Now let's go back over to the sick bay.
Her dad's only the richest pet in town. <laughs> You're not worth it. Yeah, let's go. The answer for what I've been looking for. Finally! Well, all I need is a plane ticket and some time to pack. We will finally have a headline in the newspaper! Congratulations! And what is even your report about? You haven't told me one bit. You'll find out about it when it reaches every newspaper, billboard, and conversation in town. Okay. I really need to go start packing. See you later. Wait, you haven't even told me where you're going. Come back. Mommy, are we there yet? Not yet, dear. We'll be there in a couple hours. H7. Okay, this is me. Oh boy, this is going to be a long ride. Hello and welcome aboard Canada Airlines. Today we'll be flying to Florida. Make sure your seatbelts are fastened and enjoy the flight. Our flight attendants will now show you the exits if there are any unexpected emergencies on board. Are you ready for landing? Are we there yet? We are there. We're just still landing. I'll get it. Oh, Rita, come in. Oh, thank you. What are you after? I'm wanting to talk with Jasmine about a new plan I had. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about taking you to your hometown, Beverly Hills. Really? Beverly Hills? Isn't that place so expensive and filled with posh people? Pretty much, but some of those posh people are your relatives. And you'll get to see your house. Well, your old one at least. It sounds awesome! And your aunt and uncle were wanting you to stay with them because it would be a wonderful experience, but it is your choice and your mother's. Wait, leaving here? I was thinking of taking you for a trip or you can just stay there, but it's really up to you. I'll need some time to think about it. It is quite a big thing. Indeed. I'll give you the day and then I'll come back tomorrow. See you later! Sweetheart, just know that I want this for you. I want you to be happy. So don't worry about leaving me here because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So you should take it. But I'm not stopping you or making you go. Like she said, it's your choice. I'm gonna prepare lunch. Okay, thanks mom. Who knew this would be such a hard decision? I don't wanna I don't leave my friends, friends, but at the same time, I do wanna leave the bullies. The bullies. And then, and then I could meet my, my sister, sister and then I could meet some family, family and I get to see my house and, and it sounds like a great trip, trip but the only thing, thing stopping me here is, is my, my family here and, and everything. everything. Yeah. I'll just I'll sleep just on, it. on it. Good morning, June. Ready to open up the shop? Yes, I am. Go get your apron over there and we can start serving. Sure thing. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Is there a problem? No, there's just a little feud between us, but work is work. Hi, welcome to June's Bakery. What can I get you? Hmm, I'm not sure. Could you come back in a second? This is the first time... Oh... You... Look, I don't want to be rude or anything, but can we just forget about school and... Can we just order something? Yeah, sure. What was that about? Nothing. Now, Casey, what would you like to order? I heard they do really good smoothies. That's a good idea. Let's order some smoothies. Ready to order? Yes, please. A lemonade, please. And a raspberry smoothie. Sure. I'll be five minutes. A lemonade and a raspberry smoothie. Okay, I'll get that right up. And would you mind restocking the shelves? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Enjoy. What would you like, sir? Thanks for coming in today. I really needed some help. I'll transfer you the money later. Thank you so much. 
Well, I need to head back soon. Bye. Hey, Mum, I'm home from work. Oh, and hi, Rita. So, I need to talk to you. Well, I was thinking maybe we could take you to your hometown to visit some of your relatives, see your old house, and meet all the people there because it'll be such a good experience for you. However, you can choose if you want to stay there or just for a trip. And keep in mind that nothing is stopping you. We want you to go, but if you don't want to go, that is up to you. And it's totally fine. I'll leave you to discuss because it is quite a big decision to make. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. I'll get to meet my family. And I thought there was no one out there. But there is. I'll get to see my old house. The thing is, I just don't want to leave because there's my friends and my family. Don't worry about me at all. We want you to do this. It'll be an amazing experience. And I'm sure your friends think the same. And we'll always be here. We'll talk on the phone every night. I promise. If you do decide to go, it'll be in two weeks' time. Okay, I just need some time to decide. Which is perfectly reasonable. We need dates for flights and hotel rooms and things, so... I'll see you later. Bye. Can't believe I'll be meeting some of my family. It'll be so cool. It sure will be. That bakery was so good. And the waitress was so nice as well. I wouldn't say that. What was that? Nothing. You keep on saying that. Tell me what's wrong. I'm your friend, remember? And you can't keep secrets from me. Um. The girls are just in here. Now, sweetie, what do you say? Thanks for having me, it was really fun. Hopefully we can hang out again. It has been a couple weeks since we've last hung out. Yeah, totally. You're welcome whenever, Casey. Well, I've got to get going. Come on, Casey, let's go. Bye. I haven't seen Lori in a long time. Why does everyone keep on asking me about Lori? Casey's nice, she's awesome, yeah. So what, what's your problem? Honey, is there something you need to tell me? Because it doesn't seem like you're okay. Well, Long story short, at the start of the year, I decided I didn't want to be friends with her anymore because Revlon is way nicer and she's way cooler. And all Lori would want to do is just read books and boring stuff like that. So yeah, that's what happened. Why didn't you tell me? I just thought you'd be mad. You're allowed to be friends with more than one person, so I don't see that there's a big problem. I don't think it was necessary to end your friendship. to talk to your daughter Lori. Is she there? Uh, yes she is. Not trying to be rude, but why do you want to talk to her? I'm a reporter from the New Yorkie Times and my upcoming report relates to your daughter and another girl the same age, so I need to find out more about your daughter. Okay, I'll go get her. Hurry, there's someone at the door for you. Hi, come in. Oh, thank you. explaining I need to do and it would be a lot to take in so you need to be fully prepared. Alright, I guess I'm ready. So you know you're adopted? Yeah, I found out yesterday. I know it's a lot to find that out but there's more to the story that I need to tell you. You were one and a half when your parents died in a very very sad car crash. When your parents were alive, the public didn't know that you existed and that you were actually alive. Your parents wanted you to be safe and not have to go through all the publicity. So they kept you a secret from all the public when they had interviews, when people asked, whenever they went out. So that meant you didn't have to go through the trouble. But when you were one and a half, the accident happened and you were supposed to go in the same orphanage as your sister, but that did not work. Wait, I have a sister? Yes, she's your biological sister. Well, twin sister. If you know that, you know who my parents are. Do you know who they are? Oh, I have got to go. I apologize deeply. I'll be back in a couple days to explain more. I have another assignment I have to do here. Bye. Mom, I have a sister, an actual twin sister. That is so exciting. I can't believe this. I'm just gonna go to bed. It's getting late. Good night.
plate. Uh, hi. How can I help you? I need to talk to you about your parents. Uh, sure. Come on in. Thank you. I have a sister? The article and I got four proofreaders. It has gotten 5,000 reads in the past hour. We are definitely getting a headline this year. I knew I could trust you to do this. But there's only one catch. I'm sure it's not that bad if you've got 5,000 reads in the past hour. I didn't tell the twins that I was working with. What did you tell them? Everything except I was making an article about them. That could get us fined. What were you thinking? That's the thing. I wasn't thinking. Call them. Make some sort of plan. I'll call them soon. I promise. You better. I'm gonna go back to supervising the other people who are working on the articles. I'll be back later. What have, what I, got have I got myself into? into? Bye mom. Have a good day. Hey guys. Hello. Hannah and Revlon have been acting strange today. Do you know what that's about? I don't, sorry. It's fine, don't worry about Lori, it. Lori, I am so sorry for everything that I've done to you. Cut the act, I know you better than that. I'm being honest, I was going through a phase. Me too. You must forgive us. Tell me, why are you guys doing this? Okay, fine. I read the article. Can you mention me to your personal designer that your mom has? Yeah, me too. I want some cool designs to wear. What on earth are you talking about? You know, your personal designer that you have? I'm surprised you think I have a personal designer. <laughs> Not you, silly. Your actual parents. That is none of your business. And you have no right to talk about them. It's the whole world's business. Excuse me? It's kinda on the news, you know. <sighs> Rita! Why would she do that? Who's Rita? It's none of your business. You go ask. No, you go ask. You were the one who wanted to go. Okay, fine. I'll ask. Let's go. Excuse me? Could we get some autographs? From Lori? Let me be. Sheesh. Wonder what that was. Ask again later. Is the article true? Uh, what article? The one about your parents being famous? Ugh, Rita, why would you betray me like that? She was the only one who knew about it anyways. Try call her and sort something out. I don't really know what to do because I don't really know what's going on. I'll try. I'll be right back. Ugh. Rita, take it down. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I forgot, okay? You just forgot to tell me that you're using me to be famous yourself, and you don't even care how this will completely change my life. And it's personal information that I could get you fined for. I'm sorry, okay? If you were sorry, you'd take the article down. It's got one million reads, it's got some shares and republishes, there's nothing I can do about it now. And also, when would you like me to take you down to your hometown? This really isn't the time to mention that. Goodbye. Is everything okay with Jazz? Yeah, I'm sure she'll be alright. I still feel bad about Sophie. Don't tell her I told you that. I won't. And I thought she just thought of us as friends. But I was thinking of maybe asking her if she'd like to go to the dance with me. That is so cliche. If you wanted to do something special, maybe not the dance, because how unspecial and unoriginal that is. Just think about it. Uh, I guess you're right. <laughs> I'll ask her about maybe a picnic, but I don't know when. She's super stressed out right now, so today isn't a good day. So what about tomorrow? Yeah, perfect timing. To the help. Thanks so much again. You, you know, talking to Daniel and stuff, completely annoyed Jazz. Yeah, but it's all a pleasure for my dear, dear sister. <laughs> we need to come up with a better plan. A plan for what? We just did something to her. Let's just give her a break for now and target on someone else. Like who? I don't know. I was just thinking about it. Maybe we could just try something new. Yeah, I kind of do want a break from her. And she's kind of famous now, so 
If we do something wrong, we could end up in jail or something. Oh, hey Daniel. How are you? I'm alright, I guess. Did the phone call go well? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go. Goodbye, Rita. Can you believe she published a top secret article? And to top it off, she didn't even ask for permission. Lori, there's nothing we can do now. And maybe find a way to embrace this as a new part of your life. How can I when I'm just getting attention for nothing I've done? You have a sister. You can visit your hometown, meet more relatives, and know about more of your parents. Oh, I guess so, but when's that gonna happen? I can call her later today. But I think she's more anxious than you are because she's had you and your twin sister complaining about her mistake. Maybe we should just give her a break. I think I've made my decision. I'm going to go to Beverly Hills for a couple weeks. Thanks for helping me out. I'm so proud of you. It's going to be a great opportunity for you. Boss, I published little and Hannah and Rivlon have been acting strange. Hannah and Rivlon. <laughs> Bless me. Okay, fine. I read the article. Can you mention me to your personal designer? Okay, fine. I read the article. Can you mention me to your personal designer that your mum has? Yeah, me too. I want some cool designs to wear. What on earth? <laughs> Not you. Your parents' parents, as in like... Oh, sorry. It's gotten one million reads, shares, republishes, things. Don't tell you. I still feel bad about Alice. She's super stressed out right now, so today's not the good day, I guess. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I was just thinking about it and thought we should try something new. I'm just gonna go. Can you believe she published a top secret article and I didn't even think to- I can call her later today, but I think she's more action- <laughs> Complaining about her mistake. Complain about her mistake. I guess so, but I think I've made my decision. I'm gonna go- Thank you so much. I promise I won't disappoint you again. For a wind flight? Tomorrow, 9am. Tomorrow? I better get a move on. Thank you so much. I'll stop back now. Bye. Bye. Who is that? Jasmine, she finally forgave me for the article dilemma. That's a relief. Do you have anything planned? Yes, I need to call Lori, but there is no way I'll get an answer from her. She'll decline as soon as she sees my name. Try my phone. Are you sure, boss? You know you can call me Leona. And yeah, it's an article, of course. And this seems like no longer an article, more like some TV drama. Reporters have the responsibility of digging up information and, sh and sharing it in a way that causes no harm, which is a huge responsibility. And it's very hard, so you're not the first reporter to do so. Anyways, try and call her. Thanks again, Leona. Anytime. Hello? Hi, Laurie. What do you want? Before you hang up on me, hear me out. I am deeply sorry and I've learnt from my mistakes. Go on then. I found a way to repay you. Really? Tomorrow, 9am, you'll be flying to Beverly Hills. How did you know I made my decision? Your mother contacted me. Right, I saw that coming. Are you excited? Yes, but a little bit nervous. How long are we staying for and what will my twin think of me and is... Isn't this trip really, really expensive? Calm down, and we all paid for it. Our friends over in Beverly Hills helped us, and the trip is two weeks, unless you want to move there, and your twin will be there happy to see you. She is having pretty much the same thoughts as you right now. Okay, I'm super nervous. I may as well stop packing. Thanks again for calling. Bye. I'm glad things went smoothly. I'm gonna miss you so much. What's going on? I'm going to Beverly Hills for two weeks and meet and meet Jasmine, I think her name is. Oh dear, that's great! Don't worry about me at all. I will miss you, but this is a great opportunity for you. I was also wondering about something. What is it? Who were my parents? They were the kindest people there were. 
Nicole, your mother, was a model in her sister's company. And your dad was an actor in the James Bone series. They were both very kind people, and sometimes they remind me a lot of you. It's okay, you have me now. I'm... I'm your, um... Biological... Aunt. Wait... What? I was Nicole's older sister. I changed my last name to my middle name because I didn't want fame or attention. I wanted an ordinary, steady life. So that's how you ended up being... Laurie May. So you're my aunt. My aunt? You're my family! I've been thinking that I've been away from all my family since you told me I was adopted. But you were here the whole time. When the accident happened, I adopted you because I wanted to give you a great life. And when I went to adopt you, Jasmine was gone. So I'm happy that you'll finally get to meet her because that's what I've wanted for you for years. Thank you. For what? For being the best mum I could ever have. Mum, Dad, do you think Loretta will like me? Of course! She's your sister. She will love you. How could she not? You're so caring, sweet, and a great friend. Thanks guys, I'm just a little nervous. I was about your age when I first went on a plane on my own. You're almost 16 now. No, I'm not nervous about that. I'm nervous for what Beverly Hills is like. My family lives there. There's those rich chihuahuas who own seven yachts and about three beach houses. There is nothing to fear. Everything will go perfectly fine. Thanks for reassuring me, guys. No problem, sweetie. Thank you so much. Next. Take that door there. Have a nice time in Beverly Hills. Oh, Jasmine Fall. My pleasure to be your service. I hope you have the finest day. Uh, thank you. Oh, oh, right, I'll scan your ticket. Have a nice day. Thanks. These chairs are so comfy. Is it your first time writing business class? Yes. You must be Angelina, one of those typical Beverly Hills Chihuahua. You have quite the nice city. Uh, yeah, Florida is pretty nice. <laughs> I was just joking. Beverly Hills is the top class treatment. Well, I guess you're not used to that. Hm. Only three, three more, more hours. hours. Hello, we are experiencing a minor delay. We will have half an hour more extra time added to the flight due to the heavy winds coming up from north. Please forgive us. Thank you. You've got to be kidding me. Sorry. Hi, I'm Jasmine. You've grown so much. Um, who are you? Please forgive me. I'm your Aunt Maya. Your dad's sister. And I'm your cousin. I've seen you before modeling on Glamio magazine. You saw it? Wow, Jasmine Fall noticed me. Can I take a picture with you? Sure. I'm still getting used to the whole being Jasmine Fall's daughter of famous pets. And also, where's my sister Loretta? Kira can pick up Loretta and we can meet her at and we can meet her at your old house. My house? I'll explain on the drive there. Yeah. So yeah, let's go. That flight took forever. But I'm finally out. Hello. Loretta! Is that you? I prefer Lori. My apologies, Lori. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm your aunt. 
And yes, I am the youngest, but anyways, you've grown so much since the last time I saw you. You're only seven months old. Oh, and this is Matt. He is one of your cousins. And I have no idea where David went. Hi, I'm your uncle. Uh, nice to meet you all. But where's my twin sister, Jasmine? She is at your aunt's house. Her plane arrived half an hour before yours, but we can still meet up with them. We'll be driving to your old house. I'm so excited to meet her. I'm so glad. Let's go. Ah, they're finally here. Uh, hi, I'm Lori. I'm Jasmine, but you can call me Jazz. I still can't believe I just met you. Yeah, we'll be able to relate so much with being adopted and all. <laughs> Definitely. Do you have those high school mean girls that suddenly just changed just because you're related to some famous person? Oh my gosh, yes. Well, I guess it's because our parents had more of a higher reputation than us. Yeah. Oh, uh, Lori, you forgot your bag. Uh, thank you. So, what now? Do you want to look inside your 14.7 million dollar house? <laughs> holy guacamole! Oh my holy cheese balls. The most expensive thing I own. It was like a hundred dollars off of eBay. <laughs> but how do we own this house? Well... Michael and Nicole had like a million relatives and the closest relative to them was you guys, so yeah. How does it feel? We are millionaires. Yeah, I still can't really process it. So I guess this chapter ends and the story was only just starting. Well, I have a twin, guys. I have a twin. We need to try out our twin telepathy sometime.